test here. So in Nancy Drew Codes and Clues, players get to program a robot puppy that Nancy has created. Now, coding the puppy is more than just telling it what to do. You have to issue it a series of commands that will get you to your goal in the best way possible. And one of the ways that you can do that is through what is called looping. And this applies to more than just realms of coding. In this case, we're actually going to make a Nancy Drew remix of sorts, incorporating looping principles, I guess. So, I'm excited. Here we go. So here we have our sound editor open, and we have a whole bunch of sounds already in there. And these are actually sound effects that span across several of the games. So we'll just go ahead and play a few of those now. Hmm. And that one, I just, I like that sound at the end. And five points to whoever knows what game that particular sound is from. And the points won't do you anything. They're just, if you like points, you can have five points. Okay, cool. So we've got a whole bunch of sounds that we can choose from. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use a few of these and we're going to create a very basic beat track. And then we're going to loop that. So here we go. We're going to do this. And stick that down there. Let's do this one. Add this down here as well. Okay, cool. So now that we've got that in place, let's play that back and hear how that sounds. Cool. So yes, there you go. So that's kind of our beat. And we're not going to use this throughout the entire remix, just for this little part. We're going to use it until we want to switch to something else. So now that I've got this, would I want to recreate this again if I didn't have to, if I knew that the computer could just do it again for me? No. You know, it's unnecessary. It's, it's just extra work. So what we're going to do is we're going to loop it. And we're going to do that really quick. Perfect. So then we're going to do that. And I like to do it three times so you've got like the full four bars, I guess. Um, so let's do three. So that'll repeat it three times. Perfect. So we just looped it. So now let's play that back and hear how that sounds. Perfect. Yay. All right. So there's our basic beat track using looping, and now I'm going to embellish this a little bit, or a lot, and then I will show you guys the final result. Alright, and here we go, here is our completed remix. You can see there's some of the loop right here, there's a little bit more further down the line. It's harder to tell, but yeah, there's a little bit more down here, and there's a little bit more in the middle. But. And now, I'm going to let you guys listen to it, and yeah, hope you enjoy. Hope you get a, as much of a kick out of it as I did. So, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. I think I've got too much time on my hands. And this is one of the many ways that you can use the idea of looping. So what are some ways that you guys know of? How else can looping be used in other arenas? Let me know down in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe and check out our latest app, Nancy Drew Codes and Clues. And I will see you guys later. Bye. I'm gonna do a weird salute for you. There you go.